the symbolism of palaces, kites and crowns. We use this hourglass shaped diagram in all our videos and it represents the mind. It is divided into three. The bottom bowl has the conscious and subconscious mind, the mortal soul, whilst the upper bowl has our higher spirit, also called the immortal soul. Or the Atman and Buddha nature. With its composer of dreams, visions and hallucinations. A palace is then the symbolic home of higher spirits. And these higher spirits may be bodied, have a body, in which case there is one palace per higher spirit, or not have a body, disembodied. And the reason they may not have a body is because they are gods, intelligences, and in this case many intelligences may share the same palace. They are dead, and indeed there may be palaces that house numerous such higher spirits, and which some people view as paradise. They are alive, but temporarily out of body. Getting to the palace. Going back to the diagram of the mind, one has to ascend from the subconscious up through the conscious mind and then climb either via the red route or the blue route to get to the palace. And as we saw in another video, we go through the symbolic forest and wood of the subconscious until we reach our castle, another video, and work our way up the labyrinthine maze of paths and roads of our memory and all its rooms until at last we catch a glimpse of the door to perception. Video, doors and windows. The Red Route So, assuming now that we are living, how do we reach our higher spirit? The walls are high, the windows out of reach. If we make the decision to go the red route, we are symbolically going up the chimney with the smoke, rising with our thoughts. Or using the rope or hair our higher spirit sends down for us. All this symbolically means is that our higher spirit, if she isn't fast asleep from lack of contact before, actually wants us to succeed because she loves us and will do her level best to help us. Similar symbolism is used in the kite, where the person on the ground is connected by a string to the kite and can send it messages up the string. There may be portals in columns or tree trunks. Taking the person metaphorically remember this is all symbolic, up the tree to their treehouse palace. The Blue Route The alternative symbolically is the Blue Route and we describe this in the video on the symbolism of the bridge. One metaphorically swims upstream against the current of spiritual input until one reaches a guarded bridge. 
whether blue root or red root, the nature of the palace you find is intended to be the definitive statement of who you are and answers the question, know thyself. Which is why the aristocracy in days of old built palaces that were intended to either impress or capture the symbolism of the palace and who they thought they were. Hinting, of course, by doing so, that they were enlightened beings. The Hourglass and the Egg Back to our diagram of the mind and its three levels. How do these levels correspond to the levels in the cosmic egg? Making sure we remember all the time this is a symbolic landscape of the mind, the flat disc is the conscious self. Below it spread the roots of our subconscious mind hidden from us by the disc. Sometimes the disc is shown as a ruff round the person's neck, thereby implying that all bodily subconscious activity lies below the rough, and thus what can be found above is a pure spirit and a pure conscious self. Which brings us rather neatly and finally onto the crown. The crown. A crown is a symbol of an enlightened being a person whose crown chakra is open, a person who knows themselves. There are two constellations that make use of this symbol, Corona Australis, or the Southern Crown, which is actually a wreath, and Corona Borealis, or the Northern Crown, which does look like a crown. Rusbihan Backley from the unveiling of secrets, the diary of a Sufi master, translated by Karl Ernst. The truth descended, then approached me and said, I came for you when you were asleep. He then stayed in my house an hour. I found my heart and body melting at the sweetness of seeing and witnessing his beauty. He said, Seventy times I came to seek you from the wombs of the hidden before I created you, and I visited your places for you, though between me and that were regions, the hidden realms, deserts, and oceans, a journey of more than seventy thousand years. Then he approached me until he drew near and drew near and again drew near until I was hidden and annihilated. This spirit is beyond every imagining and indication and expression. <laughs> 